Hi, I'm Doug with MyTopo, and in this quick video, we're going to take a look at north arrows on the map. A MyTopo map has a north arrow with three different types of north, and it can get confusing if you don't know what you're looking at. This map is in Sequoia National Park. Let's take a look. Here's the north arrow along the edge of the map. Right at the top, you'll see the letters GN, which stand for Grid North. MyTopo maps are aligned with UTM Grid North, which is slightly different than True North. You see the letters TN on the arrow. This stands for True North. You can see that the True North is one degree east of Grid North on this map. Finally, you see the letters MN, which stand for Magnetic North. My topo maps show the difference between Magnetic North and Grid North. In this case, Magnetic North is 13 degrees east of Grid North. You can align your compass with the edge of the map or with the blue UTM grids or tick marks, and this is the number you want to use. Now, things get confusing sometimes when you are looking at the difference between Magnetic North and True North. If you plug this location into an online declination tool, you'll probably get a number around 12 degrees. How do we get this? Well, you'll see that Magnetic North is 13 degrees east of Grid North, and True North is one degree east. So subtract one from 13 and you get 12, which is what an online tool tells you. The only time you would want to use the magnetic north, true north difference is if you are aligning your compass to the black longitude grid lines. If you're using the blue UTM grid lines or tick marks or the edge of the map, use the difference between magnetic north and grid north.